Thank you, Nick. Nick. Your husband, Nick, told me I was through. Well, as my friend Nick would say, that's wonderful. Oh, are you waiting for me? Nick was saving that. Nick saves a lot of things. It's none of your business what it... Nick, uh, why don't you let me take your car? I'll run that sign into town and get it fixed. But, Nick, that's not the point. Maybe it's none of my business, but uh, what's Nick sore about? Sing something, Nick. Okay. Let's start the jukebox, Nick, and I'll dance with you. But, Nick, I've practically forgotten how to... Nick, I don't want to dance. Go on, don't be silly. Enjoy yourself. Save your strength, Nick. It's too hot to dance. Nick... Nick said it was all right with him, if it's all right with you. And Nick had just left for L.A. Nick just had another brainstorm and drove into town. Why I married Nick? My answer is that Nick came along at the right time and with a wedding ring. Sure. And by the time Nick came along... Too bad Nick took the car. Even if the car... Frank, look. If I divorce Nick, he'll never get... The note I wrote for Nick. If he gets home with more... Frank, look, it's Nick. Now, take it easy, Nick. What were you stealing in our suit? You're crazy, Nick. Well, Frank's not a thief. Oh, you've had too much beer, Nick. Sure, the other one was our suit. That's all right, Nick. I'll pick him up. What? Pray for something to happen to Nick? Nick was taking a bath. Nick. Nick. Nick, it's me. Cora. Don't you even know your own wife? Nick, aren't you going to speak to me? Oh, Frank, what are we going to do? They know something's wrong. Suppose Nick died. If Nick should, should die, they'll know. We can't make any plans till we find out about Nick. And Cora wouldn't even discuss what was going to happen when Nick came home. Uh, hello, Nick. Uh, come on. Well, Nick, you, you never even told me you had a sister. Nick, this is pretty sudden. This is best. But Nick, please. Nick, you... Nick, don't sell the place. I'm telling you, don't sell it. Drive. Oh, no, you won't. You're as drunk as Nick is, only you don't shove... Okay, Mrs. Smith, if you want Nick to drive, I don't want to fight with you, you know. Nick, you shove over. You can't sing and drive at the same time. Hey, Nick, uh, uh, what happened to your voice? We're going pretty good, huh? <clears throat> Nick! Hey, Nick! Nick! Oh, the echo can't take your high note, Nick. <laughs> Nick's death was an accident. A brand new $10,000 insurance policy Nick Smith took out on his life. Nick's had an accident. Getting to take out an accident? Let's see. But I left that place before Nick came home from the hospital. And the day after the policy was granted, you accidentally, on purpose, ran into Nick. And what do you think? There were just three people in that car, Nick and you and Cora. It's a sense Nick didn't have anything to do with. I guess not. Then it was Cora who crowned Nick with a bomb. And it wasn't nervousness on Cora's part that sent that car over with you in it as well as her husband. Oh, no. Although it was Frank who smashed Nick in the head before the car went over the cliff. You'd soon be right back here again for helping her kill Nick. No, laddie, for killing Nick. Cora paid for Nick's life with hers.